It's the biggest transport project in Sydney since the Harbour Bridge, but for many, the North West Rail Link still seems more a promise than a reality. Well, tonight, Nine News can show you how it will be built and the monster machine set to tunnel underneath our suburbs. This is the massive tunnel boring machine that will be used. It stretches 200 metres long and weighs 1,000 tonnes. Two will work their way from Bella Vista to Cherrybrook and two more from Cherrybrook to Epping Station. Each will take a year to assemble ahead of digging that will begin in 2014. It's a vital piece of infrastructure. It's, it will be the longest and deepest rail tunnel in the country plus four kilometres of Skytrain. Uh, but this is going to serve an area that will have 600,000 people in it by the time it's completed. Laser guided technology is used to excavate with centimetre precision. The twin tunnels will stretch 15 and a half kilometres long and up to 70 metres below the surface. That will create more than 2.4 million tonnes of crushed rock and spoil, enough to fill two thirds of ANZ Stadium. Each machine will operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Well, it's getting underway, planning approval granted for the overall project. In an effort to reduce the noise impact, most above ground work will be banned from 1pm on Saturday and all day on Sundays. Some work has started. These offices are being prepared for demolition within a fortnight. Bella Vista Station will be built before being positioned underground at this site. We live local, work local and it's, no, well, it's not really going to benefit us, probably more benefit our kids in years to come. I haven't heard anything about it so definitely if it actually happens, well I will be surprised. Pleasantly surprised? Definitely. And Kevin Moore on the transport front, another report on road projects will be released on Wednesday. That's right, Pete. This is the independent list of projects being put together by Infrastructure New South Wales, headed up by Nick Greiner. Right at the top of the list is a motorway that will be called the West Connects, linking up the M4 and the M5, probably from Auburn through Glebe to the airport and to Port Botany. Lots of economic benefits, particularly keeping trucks off here, Parramatta Road in particular. Now, the Premier seems in favour. He then has to decide when work can begin and more importantly, how much each of us as, driver will, as drivers will pay by way of tolls, Pete. All right, Kevin, thank you.